Big Day of Giving is coming up on Thursday, and one local nonprofit is looking to save an historic landmark. Yeah, Shade Brown is live in Elk Grove, where she's learning more about their <laughs> efforts in that meeting some cute animals as well. Good morning. Yes, very cute animals, and I will say this is my first time in an animal pen looking at the Nigerian dwarf goats. As you can see, there are three of them, and they're so cute. They've been jumping up and down, but we are here at the historic Nicholas Farm because, you know, on Thursday is big day of giving. And here with Sacramento Splash, they're here with 73 kids who are actually out in front doing an introduction so far. But right now we have Colleen from Sacramento Splash in her beautiful, uh, busy, see, I would think Beyonce, Beehive, but but you're giving Queen all ready. <laughs> so, so what is happening today with the kids and, and learning about the historic farm? Absolutely. So every morning we meet the students out on the lawn. We have a brief introduction, which is our opportunity to set the state so that education can really take place. And for us at this time of the year, we're really gearing up for the big day of giving because let's be honest, if we don't put our money where our mouth is, we can't create opportunities like this for students to learn and have opportunities to be successful. So what are they learning? today. Sure. So um, as part of Sacramento Splash, Project AWE stands for Agriculture, Water, Energy, Ooh. and the Environment. And all of the student learning stations today <laughs> revolve around one of those pi pillars in the agriculture industry. They'll be learning about seed dispersal, pollination, um, honeybee production, and doing some work, hands-on work in the garden. And they'll also be meeting the animals as well. I'm oh, thinking. yes, ma'am. Especially the donkey. Yes. Frosty's <laughs> over there. He's always super excited excited when the kids come out and then we've got Bam Bam, Poppy and Boingo over here who are they're stealing all my treats. I can see that and they <laughs> are all on her um, and I know that you guys are hoping to raise money for like yes. future like around for over 7,000 kids too? Correct so um, it's really been uh, a work and labor of love to create this opportunity for students especially post pandemic creating opportunities where students get to exit the four walls of a classroom and really bring learning up close and personal under the fingertips um, and so on average we've been seeing about 7,000 students per year wow. we'd really love to expand that beyond the reaches of Elk Grove Unified but we can't do that without some really big supporters that is incredible okay and we see some goats okay again this is my first time in an animal <laughs> pen <laughs> and I have you know just just taking a girl from San Francisco and putting her in an animal pen this is this is a lot, but I am loving it. Okay, so I know that coming up, we will see the kids interact yes. with the animals and learn about, you know, milk production and all that all good stuff, right? Okay, so coming up, we will see all that. And um, it looks like one of the goats was just eating one of the faux tugs uh, keychains, but yeah, <laughs> we'll come back to it. It, it, it tends to happen, right? Yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> Thank you, Shade. It Appreciate does. it.